Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Satisfactory. So after a brief interlude where we have just gone and had a little bit of wandering round, it's time to get back to work, so let's get back to it. Let's go and drive the tractor back over this way. It would appear that no matter what you do, the tractor doesn't tip over. So tipping the tractor over is not a thing. So I'll bring you over this way and I'll stop you right there. Right, and this one, E to drive tractor, is dropping coal into it. Right, he's still dropping stuff in there. Take all, send and receive. Okay, so we've got the tractors around. Are they automatically called to the station? Let's go, let's, let's, let's climb up. We go up here, up here like this. Okay, configure the truck station. Send. How do I do this? Send, receive. Oh, that's send. Let's, uh, let's put it into the truck. There. Put it into the truck and send it. Oh, may maybe it's because I don't have another thing to go and get, do I? I haven't got, I haven't got another one to, to go to yet. Uh, you, right here. You don't have anything. Not recording. Vehicle path. Right, so how do I access the inventory of the track? Is can I do that? Can I eat? Can, oh, there's the workbench. I've got an onboard workbench that I can access. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, graph bench, vehicle. Oh, it's not got anything on it at the moment. So even though it's got the craft bench and it had that one doing a visual movement, it wasn't actually doing anything. And then if I go to this one, we go to the craft bench. Oh, it was putting it into this one. It was storing it up into this one because, look, this one's got all the fuel on it. If I go over there, there, so drive tractor. I can't move it out the way. Okay. I'll stop there. Right, well, we've, we've been doing a little bit of driving, so that's... There and and kind of and kind of running. Um, I've got open workbench right there. I've got a hundred coal right there. And we take that out. And then I want to go over to this one. Open workbench, and I'm going to put that hundred coal in there. So I've now got fuel in this tractor as well. Both of them have got fuel. Then I'm going to have a look in here. Send, receive. I don't really know what else I'm supposed to do with it. So I'll leave that there for a minute. And we're going to run back home. And once we get home, we'll have a look there. We'll see if there's anything that we can do down that side. We've got a data story. We've, we've got things to analyze in the MAM. And we've got uh, well, some circuit boards. Although I think that's probably just something else that we've got to unlock. Uh, we're just about ready to launch our next load off of that thing as well. So it's going to be interesting to see if these tractors are going to be able to navigate their way all the way back through here. Or if we've actually got to build some kind of track for them to be able to run along. Is there anything else that we've got to do? Or do they just simply navigate their way back, you know, go, go to and fro without any issues? We've got the, the thing set up over here. But what we don't have is... it. It's not powered. That's that's the only thing. It's not powered, and I haven't like uh, I haven't done anything else. So I don't know if there's another screen I need to be looking at. Now then, this station over here, we want to take power over that one over there. So I reckon if we go power line like that, and I'll put one to there, like that, and I'll take another one, and I'll join it up onto there like that. Right. So I've got that bit, so now if I configure the truck station, this one I want to be... Right, is that sending the truck out or is that unloading the truck? I think that's unloading the truck. I want that one there, but how do I configure it to receive the truck from the other way? Like, how do I make it... This, this is the bit that I'm not sure about. I'm, I don't know if I'm doing this right or wrong or what. 
So let's let's climb up here a minute. Get up on top. We'll have a look here. We, we, we kind of... That one's send, receive. I've got two tractors over there but they're not doing anything at the moment and i don't think they i don't think they're loading either so i've got no idea if i'm doing this right or wrong I, I don't know how i'm supposed to set it up tab there's nothing in here Oop, no i don't want a garbage i want i want to sort because we got that one there that we want to do something with uh Put that one into my hand and I'll eat. I know it's a bit of a waste of a pale berry because those do a whole bar, but that's fine. Tractors. Now, the moment the tractors aren't moving, this one, I'm confused. I, I don't really know. Send, receive. It doesn't tell me which of these is send and which is receive. So I don't know if I'm doing that right. I may have these the wrong way round, which would be a bit of a nuisance. But I know that I've got fuel in both of the things over there. And... I could, well, once it comes back over here, we can get coal going in there, but how do you get it to auto put fuel in? Do I put... Oh, no, we had, we, we already had two things going in. Down here, didn't we? Wait a minute, I got one there and one there. What's the difference between these two? I'm looking at this station. I don't see a big difference between the two, but maybe that one is for fuel. To reload the trucks, and maybe that one is to actually like load the trucks themselves. It's still not moving. I can see them there on the like on the bar. They're not doing. It. I don't think they are going to do anything. I'm, I'm not waiting for them to move. Um, right. Well, we got power onto that one. So while I'm waiting for that a second, or just just sort of try and decide if it should do anything we're going to run over to the mam and we're going to see what we've got from our alien carapace that's one thing that's been researched and we're also going to want to get hopefully get the next launch done as well so let's have a look in here analysis of alien carapace is completed please choose a new specimen in the list to begin new analysis Incoming message. R&D has repurposed a common engineering tool to assist you in your defense against the local wildlife and provided an extra equipment slot. The blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 3. Okay, we have an extra equipment slot. Alien organs. Ah, I've got alien organs. Right, the hard drive there, I want to analyze that one. I'll find out what's going on with this hard drive. The alien organs, we've got that. We can research those. Um, that can stay. I'll keep hold of the chainsaw for a minute. I've got circuit boards there, which we're probably going to want to do some research with, but they can go into there for a minute. And then I've got wood and leaves here that I can't be bothered to do anything with right now, so they can go into there as well. That's everything for a minute right we're done over here now i want to go over to this one we need 150 motors for this and 500 of the frames up the top so we're going to get 150 motors that i know that we've now got those are in this side and yeah tractors haven't moved we'll probably have to go over to the other side and have a look at them wow okay this is going up one two three stacks of those to make 150 motors so we come over here i'm gonna go up to the top for this one so we'll go we'll jump up here using our jump bridge jump pad i love these jump pads these are brilliant Ha -ha! up we go and now we can come over to this side and I drop you in there so we want 150 of these in here one two and three like that and now i need 500 of these not even close not even close that needs to be a lot faster okay we we will let me sort those a minute there and then go into here so i want one two three and four i got 45 there i'm gonna keep those so i'm 200 i'm 200 done so far we we need a lot more and I still don't know what I'm supposed to do with these truck with these tractors. I'm, I'll go and move them around again in a minute. But right now, what are we waiting on? We're waiting on the reinforced plates. 
Reinforced plates is the big thing, right? It's, it, they're a bit slow coming out. A bit slow coming out of here. So we're waiting on these. They're producing five per minute. All right, we've got the plates going in. The screws here, they are fairly slow, right? We, we, the screws, they're, they're not coming out. Over here, I've got screws is overclocked. It's running out as fast as they possibly can, and they're still not going fast enough. That one there is not overclocked when they're coming through. That is fine. So, screws is the screws is the issue. Screws is definitely the issue. Right. Rotors, they need the screws. They need lots of them. And that side needs the screws as well. They need lots of them. They're just not coming through fast enough. So, we're going to go into here. And I'm going to drop another one of these. And I'm going to drop that in there. Uh... Right, 7.7 .7 megawatts of power. I'll drop that one in, and I will overclock again like that. It's now 12.1 megawatts of power. That's doubled it up. So we get an 180 a minute coming out of this one. And they are really pumping through now, but they still might not be fast enough. Right, I'm looking at that. The rods are feeding in. 180 a minute. That belt down there, the, uh, the the level 8 belt, how fast does that run again? I think that's like 270. So we, we, got no issue, we got no worries on that one. 270 resources a minute. So I can overclock yet more on that one. Uh, bring you down. And this one over here is doing 6 per minute maximum. That's bringing in the screws right there. Is it going to 132 a minute it's needing on there? It's not using, it's not bringing the screws in fast enough. No. You see, it's waiting for them. 19, 20, 21, 22, and now it starts up again. So it's waiting on the screws right there. It's still going through fast enough. I don't need to upgrade these belts for it. Oh, what about you over this side? It's still waiting on the screws over this side as well. Right, five per minute on there. So I want to, I still need to overclock more. In order to get those, really what we want is we want um, individual lines of screws being made for each factory. So that I can, because I'd like to overclock this, I'd like to get more of these being made. That would, that's, that's kind of, that is the dream at the moment. 41, 40, yeah, we're, we're not producing enough. I need this to go faster. Definitely, definitely want that to go faster. Which means that this one down here is not going fast enough. Despite the fact that I got this overclocked to 200%, this is not going fast enough. So, in an ideal world, what do we want to do? We want to split this. We want to remove this one. I want to move it over that side as tight as I can and put another one over there. And then I want to split that conveyor that's coming in so that I've got, um, I'm feeding these rods into two separate ones of these. That's what we need to do. Right. That's what we need to do. That's what we need to do. So you over here, you are feeding power down to that line down there. It's feeding the power into everything that's going to be the issue. All right, that side, there's no power to worry about. That should be fine. But that one there, that one's going to be lost. Lost in translation. Right, you can go. You can go. And you can go. Right. This is stage one. And we can come up to here. And I can go to there. And I can go to production. And I can go to a constructor. Like that. So that's it's going to go out that way. Uh, what do you mean floor is too steep? The floor is not too steep at all. Encroaching another's clearance over there. So I'm going to bring it back that way. And move that one up. Right, it can go there or it can go there. It's going to need to go there, I think. Uh, like that. Right, that's as far over that side as I can make it. And I want another one to go right here. And that's encroaching clearance on this one. Which we're going to have to move. I've got no power on you. And you in here are completely full. I'm just going to make this a little bit more tricky. Um, 
can I do this? Right, well, that one's actually empty, so I can remove that one a minute. You go. Might be able to do this just slightly different to what I originally planned. But I can still do it. So if I take that one out from there. And then I go back into Constructor. And instead of how I do it like this. Right? It doesn't matter which way around it goes, I suppose. It goes up like that. I need to be able to have the belts coming through. So I put that one... I need to be able to have the belts coming out as well. Right, it's getting the belts to come out in this confined space. It's going to be difficult. Hmm. One there. And... Put one there. Like that. And all we simply... We won't fit in a storage thing for it. Will that work? Will, th will, will this e is this even going to work? Right, uh, I'd bring number eight off of there. Uh, that is the conveyor that's going to come out of here. It's not going to go out like that, but it will... I can bring it round like that. There. And then I can bring it round... To there. And I can't take it any further because it's encroaching clearance on here. So I've got to remove it off of there. Like that, and off of there, and off of that one, and remove that bit, that bit there, and you, and you back there, and then what we're going to do is I want to have a merger, which is number six, and I put that one like that, so that one will go kind of like that. And I can, I can move that merger over this way a little bit. Except I don't think it's going to help. I want to move it up there a bit. Like that. Right. Now I go... That one. That's an invalid shape. Right. That's too steep for it to move. So that can that conveyor belt merger right there. That's got to bring forward a little bit. To there. So then I can go back to this one. Right. That will fit. And then you over here. You can go into there as well. And then you come out of there. And you can move into that bit. Take you forward a little bit further. Right. It doesn't like that. Remove you. And you. And then I go back to that one and see that's in the wrong spot right there. I don't want it there. And then I don't want it out there either. I've, uh, this one here, this, this conveyor belt needs to just go forward the tiniest bit more. So I'll actually, I'll remove the belt altogether like that. And then I'll go back and I'll build it a second time and we'll go out to that point. And then from there, I will build it over to that point there. And that will build it out to here, I'm hoping. And then you can come along into there like that. And can I get that? I don't think I can split it off of there. I think this is a little bit too tight to build a splitter off of here. Uh, five for a splitter. Conveyor, splitter right there. That's in and out on that bit. That would be where the splitter would need to go. You can sort of see that and... I want to go over this side of it. Okay. So I put a conveyor splitter on there. And you can see it's, it's just a fraction too tight on there for me to be able to put it in through. Oh, no, it's not. Approaching others clearance. It's gonna fit. Doesn't like it. Doesn't quite like it. It's it, it's almost. It'll almost go in there. So what? I, let me try this again. I'll remove that one, and we'll remove 
this belt from here, like that, and then I'll try building this one on the end of here. Like, if I go control there, is that going to build it right on the edge of there? Like that. I want to build it out this way as far as I can. Uh, oh, it's not lining up with that one, is it? Oh, it should do. Here. Yeah. yeah, it's lining up on there. I want to build it back this way a little bit. Let me try putting that one there. No, that's that's too tight. That's not going to fit. This needs to fit. I need to make this fit. I can't do this. Like this, this is like the, the really crucial bit. I've taken my whole factory apart to do this because I got temporarily distracted by the fact that the factory is not perfect. Let's try that. Well, I've got a gap in between there, but. I can't get up now. I'm stuck. No. No. Right. And then we go from there. And is it going to let me? Please let me. Is it going to let me? It's not going to let me, is it? It's going to say. Oh, no, 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 no. You, you, you're not encroaching. You're not encroaching anybody's clearance. You're not. You're on it. Honestly, honestly, you're not. It's, it's fine. You, you can do this. I believe in you. All right, let's move that. It's going to be too far over. There is it's it's out that should be just enough. I'm di I'm I'm absolutely certain that we will be able to make this fit. Let's take that one there. Encroaching another's clearance. It's literally it's, it's like it's it's the, the tiniest tiniest bit. That one doesn't fit either. I hate this game. I hate this game. I don't hate this game at all. I love this game. This game is brilliant. Right. Uh, I can bring it out of this side. So, really, the issue is this storage container. Okay? We know that this issue is the storage container. And I knew all along that the issue was the storage container. And I probably should have done something about the storage container right at the beginning. Could we just go out and up and over? Like, could I do that? Ooh, I wonder. Right. Remove you a second, like that, and then I go to number nine, like that, the, the, the pole stacker thing. Okay, and I bring that one back to there, maybe? And, right, well, stacking it up two, that's going to be too high. So we don't want to do that. So we'll go like that. I will go here on two... Uh, there. That fit. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> now we're talking. Right, so that one will come up there, and then I will go to number nine. I'll uh, put that one over to there, like that. And then I will go here, and I'll put that one up to there, like that. And then I'll put that one. Okay, it doesn't, it, it doesn't like that. That, it's. Saying it's too steep, it's lying. Obviously, it's it's lying. It's, it's it's just it's just trying to test us, but we can we can move this. Let me just look forward a bit. Nope. Stand on the edge of the belt so that there, right, right, right there. That's where we want to go. Okay. I'll take that one down and that one down. So this one here, I actually want to move it back by one spot by there, I think. And we'll just see if a belt... It does now fit. Okay. So it was just being a little tiny bit unnecessarily fussy. It didn't need to be, but it was being. Tiny, unnecessarily bit fussy. So then I go to number five. And I've got a conveyor splitter up here. Like this. And that one can go right there. At least um, at least this is what I'm hoping. And then we go out of there and I bring that one out over to... No, I'm going to put uh, one of these. That's going to go... Actually, it doesn't really matter where that one goes. And we can go right there like that. And then that one will go out of there and... Bear belt mark three. 
there. Go on to you. Over to here. And then you'll come down. She no, I need that to stay up because I need it to go over this belt and then down in between. So I'm going to need another one of those. And that one's going to need to go out by two, I think. That's going to go there like that. I think that's the right spot for it. So from there, I can then take the belt and I can put it over to here like this. And then I can put that one down into there like that it fits it fits i've made it all fit everything fits look it does it it goes right in there it fits everything literally just it's it's, it's not brilliant right it's, it's absolutely not brilliant but it, it does all fit okay we've got everything going all the way round and all the way down in it goes up and over and twirls around itself and it goes in and it fits and that's the important thing. It fits. Right. We need to get the next bit set up now. So we want to come over here. And I need to get some of these steel bars. Wow. We've got loads of these now. Okay. That's brilliant. We're cooking on gas with that thing now. And then I want to come back over here. So both of those need to be producing screws. I need to come out of here with a belt. Like that. And that one wants to go just out like that. And then I need it to go into here so you can be removed. We're not going to put a storage system on here anymore. So I'm just going to put a belt onto there. And that one's going to come out there like that. And then on here, I'm going to put a merger. And that one's going to go... Nope, that's a merger. Uh, that one's going to go there. I think. I think that's where it's going to go. Oops. Right, there we go. Right, so that one will come out of there. And it should, I'm hoping, be able to go through here as well. Bear belt. Yeah, that will twist into there. And then that one will go into there like that. And that one will go around onto there. And then that will upgrade to a Mark III. And that will upgrade to a mark 3 belt as well so i've got mark 3 belts all the way through we've got two of these right here so i want to take you and you need to be making actually what do you need to be making screws you need to be making screws right you're gonna make screws and you over here you're also going to make screws right we have started this off trying to get up onto that bit it won't let me. I won't. It, why, why, why won't it let, let Let's go up onto here. Okay. This is a good start. So next I need to go to that one. And I need to put a power pole down here. Because what we had previously was I had that power pole was joined to that one over there. This one was also joined. I can't jump up onto there. I need to go over here. I need to get up onto there. Can I get up onto there? Where's the ladder? There's a ladder. I want to get up onto the top. So that I can see what I'm doing. Right, now I can see what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, so I had that one. That needs to join over. Oh, it's got four of four. That one can join over. And there we have it, folks. I'm afraid I'm going to have to stop things now because we have run out of time. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.